Hey everyone, my name is Olaf and today I'll teach you how to animate the color of a flame in a flame simulation and you will learn how to make this exact animation in Blender. It's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so start off by switching from Blend Render to Cycles Render for better shading and then click X to delete the default cube. Then click Shift A and add a uh, circle. Then click S to scale up the circle and then left click to confirm the scale. Then go into edit mode. Then click E to extrude, then left click, then click S to scale the extrusion down. And then we need to deselect, so click A. And then click A once again, and click E to extrude everything on the uh, set axis. Okay, and then go back to object mode. And now we need to add a modifier, so add a subdivision surface modifier. And add smooth shading. Then we need to add the smoke. So uh, go into quick effects, and then quick smoke. And then click S, then set to scale the domain on the set axis, S to scale, and then G, then set to grab it on the set axis, and then click S to scale it down. Then click S, then shift set to scale the domain only on the X and Y axis. Okay, so now we have the border for the smoke. So now we need to go into the smoke settings and first increase the amount of subdivisions to 100 because it uh, looks better. And then enable adaptive domain to save render time and enable high resolution to make this smoking fire look better. And then select the emitter object and change it to fire plus smoke. And then when we play the animation from the beginning, you will see that we have both fire and smoke. So uh, now we can add the lighting to the scene. So let's select the uh, lamp and then uh, turn it into a sun, change the size to one and click use notes and increase the strength to seven and uh, click G to uh, grab the sun, and then R to rotate the sun. Now I'm going to change the uh, background color as well, so we'll go to the world settings, and make the uh, background color completely black so that we can see the uh, smoke and fire even better. And I click shift set to see what it looks like in rendered view, and if you think it's too dark, you can always increase the strength of the uh, sun lamp. Okay, so let's open a new window. And then we need to go to the node editor because uh, the fire is not automatically added to the node setup. It's not very complicated, we're just going to add uh, four nodes. So select the domain and I click Shift A to add a, a new node. So click Shift A, search, and then search for emission. And then click Shift A once again and search for attributes. And then you need to type in flame in the name, which is very important if you want it to work. And uh, then you need to click Shift A once again and search for uh, color ramp, which will be for the flame color. And then the last node we need to add is the math node. So click Shift A and search for math. And uh, then connect factor to strength. And then set it to multiply and then set it between the two nodes. And then set the right color to completely black and then the left color to uh, set it to uh, blue for now, which will be the uh, color of the flame. And then connect color to color. And then we need to connect the emission node to the add shader node. And uh, if we click shift set now for the scene, you will see that we have the flame, but it's very weak. So we need to increase the multiplication value for the emission. So uh, let's change it from 0.5 to 50. And then click shift set once again and as you can see it looks a lot better so uh, now we're going to animate the color and all we need to do is to uh, click i to keyframe and then change the color so click i to keyframe and then move five frames forward in time or wherever you want and then let's change it to green and i click i to keyframe once again to keyframe the color and then we go 50 frames forward click i to keyframe to keep the color and then five frames forward and change it to uh, orange. Click I to keyframe and then 50 frames forward again. And let's uh, keyframe five frames forward and let's make it red. I to keyframe and that's all. Okay, so now we have the animation. So let's click shift set and uh, move on the timeline. And as you can see, the fire changes color. So uh, now I'm going to improve the quality of the smoke. So let's just uh, uh, increase the size of uh, this window. And if you have a GPU, make sure to use it. If you only have a CPU, it's going to be significantly 
slower, but it's still going to work. So uh, let's uh, go to the uh, smoke settings and increase the amount of uh, divisions to 150. If you have a slow laptop, you probably want to set it to 100. And then we need to add a save before we can bake the animation. So uh, save, and then give it a name and save it wherever you want on the computer. It doesn't really matter. Then click enter. And uh, then you just click bake to bake the full animation. Now, this is probably going to take some time, maybe an hour, but uh, after it's done, it's going to look really good. So uh, let's see what it looks like at uh, 150 divisions. And as you can see, it looks great. So let's just save one more time in case uh, Blender crashes. And I click number zero to look through the camera. And I click shift F to use the fly cam. And you move around with W, A, S, and D in the fly cam. And then go into the camera settings and increase the end clipping to a thousand so that we get a better range with the camera. Okay, so now it's finally time to get into the render settings. So select the camera icon and then set the resolution quality to 100%. And then set the sampling value to around 40 because you don't really need a lot of samples when it's a smoke simulation. And then scroll down if you have a GPU and set the uh, tiles size to 500. If you only have a CPU, you can just keep them at 64. And then let's make a folder where we uh, save the animation. So make a new folder wherever you want on the computer, and then give it a name. And then select the folder. And then give the animation a name. So just uh, name it wherever you want. And uh, then we can make a test render. And by making a test render, you will get a good idea of how long it will take to render out the whole animation. So uh, this is what it looks like after around two and a half minutes. And one of the beginning frames will take a lot less. So just uh, 17 seconds. So uh, now it's time to render out the whole animation. So to render out the whole animation, just click animation and it's going to start rendering. And that's it for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching and subscribe.